country hero Coming to save us all You never judged us Taught us to stand up tall Hot country hero Taught us to be at one After the prequels Healing as we go Walk in the thin line Between heaven, earth and hell Pop culture hero Saving us from ourselves Hey everybody, this is Maniac with GameAccess.net uh, doing our new how-to and I think there are a lot of people out there that have probably gotten the new Xbox 360 Slims either by themselves or with the Kinect models but what they've realized is that they're probably going to be having a problem, at least with some of those units, that, got, that paid $200 for a unit without a Kinect or $300 for a unit with a Kinect, that they've run out of hard drive space, they've run out of space, or they realize that they can't play games like uh, Halo 3 ODST or Halo Reach in online cooperative because they actually don't have hard drives. Uh, what we're going to be showing you today is how to change out the hard drive if you actually have an Xbox 360 Slim. Okay, if you've got an Xbox 360 Slim, it's not quite clear exactly where on the unit you have to um, set up, or where, where, how, actually how on the unit that you change your hard drive, or at least install a hard drive. The uh, original Xbox Model 1s, they basically had those little sockets that were open that were very easily removable and added, because you could just tell exactly how they were put in and taken out. But on a unit like this, it's just not that clear. There's nothing like that. There's no sockets on these sides. But what there is instead is, is that there's actually a secret button from a secret compartment right here on this side of the unit. It's a little tiny, teeny tiny, teeny tiny latch right here. It's the only portion of, the, of either side that's slightly discolored, or I should say slightly separated. What you do is you push it inwards and then you just gently pull the whole panel out. If you push back to try to push the latch out, it's not going to come out. And if you have a four gigabyte model slim, you're going to see this completely empty. There will be absolutely nothing in here because all your data wasn't stored on a hard drive at all. It was all in the internal solid state. That's where all your data was going. So if you bought a slim, that doesn't have a 250 gigabyte uh, storage space, this will be completely empty. Now, if you want to expand that, you're going to need to buy yourself one of these. The Microsoft 360 Xbox Slim Hard Drive. These only work in Slims. If you have an original Model 1 Xbox hard drive, it will not work. It doesn't fit. It's designed differently. If you already have a 250 gigabyte Xbox 360 Slim, you're not going to need this because Microsoft doesn't make a larger hard drive. However, something I've noticed is, is that this uses the exact same connections as a 2.5 SATA hard drive. Um, with a little bit of jerry-rigging, you might actually be able to get a bigger, ex a bigger drive in here, but I don't know if that'll, that'll definitely violate your warranty. Um, it, it pretty much uses the exact same hard drive type, a uh, 2.5 inch SATA, as a modern laptop or as a PlayStation 3 does. Now, this will only go, as you can see here, there's a tab with the uh, information on it. It basically, if you've already got like a, if you already got like a Slim with no drive, then you're gonna need to buy yourself a drive. I don't know exactly how much these cost, but there's only the 250 uh, gigabytes for these. And they'll come out just like this. And it's really dirt simple. Once you've got the thing open, all you really have to do is, and I think there's a little, la actually I noticed there's a little latch here to lock the thing in place. At least I think that's only last that'll lock it in place. Yeah, at least I think so. What you do is you fit the unit in and just slides it. It only goes in one way: the uh, internal, the tabs outside, and the internal mechanisms inside. And you just push it in until it clicks. And if you have to push it in just a little bit more to make sure it's in there, yeah. Make sure all the contacts are in place, and then you've got yourself an internal hard drive. You can replace the unit, like so. Make sure that this side goes in first and then just snap this side in place. It locks in place and it'll click. And boom, you've got yourself a 250 gigabyte Xbox 360.